Now, uh, Clementine Musimane's uh, outstanding performance as lead in the new forthcoming film, Bobby Nongena, based on the novel of the same name, written by Alsa Hubert. The film is directed by Christiano Wachen and stars the likes of Nom Sanene. Anna Mart van der Merwe and Chris Kalaba. It is said to be officially released on the 31st of January. Well, the acclaimed actress Clementine Musimani is gracing our studios this morning to tell us more about her role and to also take us through her decade, over three decades worth of work. Here's a quick snippet of the work that she's doing in her latest film. I need your extension claim. Die wet sê, as a man nie vir 10 jaar vir die selfde baas werk nie, moet jy vrou gaan. Maar ek het nergens om te gaan nie. Dit is af jou huis geef. Wat jy wat ek het nie is daar, maar my hele leven is. Dat verstaan jy nie. Jy hoort jy nie. Jy sê immigrant in jou eie land. Wat jy blij gaan hulle jou opsluit. Dan moet ek net my pas recht maak. Dit is my only choice. Ik maak oorlog voor jou. Die wet, meneer. Hoe komen ze daar tot vrouw mensen? Helaas, non genas. Jullie mag niet dat die weer bij je ondergrijpt. Nee, Dief. We just saw that captivating cliff. I mean, so many emotions going through me right now. But uh, welcome to Morning Live. It's great to have you here on the show, Clementine. Let's talk about uh, Bobby Nongena and, and the role that you are playing of this incredibly strong woman who goes through so, so much in this film, reflecting exactly what uh, a black woman went through during those times. Won't you just take us through um, her role in, in your words? Thank you so much for having me and Happy New Year, Happy 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Poppy Nongena, Poppy, typical South African woman, mm. woman who carries so much on her shoulders. She walks in the street, nobody can identify what's going through her mind, through her soul, mm. in her home. And she still has to run somebody else's home. And uh, we have so many Poppy Nongenas in our society. Mm who kept the home fires burning. Mm. I think even today we still have them. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I want to talk about just the raw emotion that, that we see in, in Bobby throughout this film, yeah. whether it's moments of joy, whether it's those you know, moments of incredible uh, debilitating pain. Mm. How did you prepare emotionally for a role such as demanding as this one? Sure. You know, when you just play a character bringing it alive, it's easy. Mm -hmm. But going into somebody's shoes, especially who was a real character and it's a mm -hmm. true story, I had to go so deep mm -hmm. to understand who Poppy was. And I had to also pull some strings from some mothers that I knew mm -hmm. who were living around me as I grew up. Mothers like Poppy Nongena. And that's where I got my strength from. That's where I got the depth from. Mm -hmm. Listening to mothers around me who were telling stories about People like Poppy Nongena saying what they used to go through with the, pre the previous regime, what they used to go through in white homes. It wasn't easy, mm. but I had to go there. Bring us into the actual story or the background of Poppy Nongena for those people who may not know her or are not familiar with, with, with her name. Yeah, it is so ironic. Ne? When I play Poppy Nongena and people ask me, what were you doing in, in Cape Town? I say to them, I was doing this movie about Poppy Nongena. And people say, who, who is, is Poppy she? Nongena? Mm. Poppy Nongena is an icon in South Africa. She's an icon for black women. She's a woman who fought a struggle, a political struggle, not in a mob psychology, but as an individual. Mm. Because she had to fight for her work permit. 
to be renewed. And the problem came about because she had to get married from somebody that came from Transkei. And the government of the day said, if you come from Transkei, because Transkei, we've declared it as a homeland, whether you come from Cape Town or not, and you're married to this guy, you cannot get a work permit. Mm -hmm. You have to go and live in Transkei. Mm -hmm. And she fought that battle that I am not a bona fide citizen of the Transkei. I am a black woman belonging to South Africa in Uppington. I grew up in Uppington and I'm staying in Cape Town. Mm. Mm. I am staying here. Mm. And if you do not give me and renew my work, work permit, then would it be us? Let it be. Mm. Mm. We, we spoke earlier on about just how this film resonates a lot with, with a South African women. You say this is a South African woman's story. Yes. On a personal level, what does it mean to you? I mean, this woman, like many of our mothers, grandmothers, aunts, you know, living in such difficult times, looking after other people's households, fighting the system, being worn down by the struggle of the time. Mm. To you on a personal level, what has it changed or what has it moved or what perspective have you gained um, since playing this, this, this Looking role? at Poppy Nongena, I get so much strength, strength from her. I see a woman with love. I see a woman with hope, I see a woman with faith, I see a woman with determination. Mm. Irrespective of what she was going through, being a mother with a child who's getting another person's child pregnant, having a husband mm. who couldn't finish working because he was ill, I see this woman that is saying, I will never give up because I belong, because I am who I am, mm. because I have a purpose, because I must make a difference. Mm. And to me, she is still Popinongena that's living today in me. Yeah. Yeah. Even when I play the role, Popinongena is still resonating in me. In every audition I go to, in every character that I play, she comes alive. Mm. That she is a woman of strength, a woman of virtue, a woman of power. Oh, I love the sincerity that you put into your work. It is just so touching. Let's talk about the other um, people that you worked with in this film. I know we, there are many other household names. We see she's come back with a huge bang. Talk to us about just the cast and how you guys are helping each other along during this shooting. The Popinongana cast was a wonderful, brilliant, talented cast. It was wonderful working with them. We were drawing strength from each other with all the experiences that we have mm -hmm. from our different roles that we played in our work. Our director was also wonderful. He's a director that took, takes pride in his work. He knew every character's dialogue. Yeah. He was hands-on on choosing the colors of the wardrobe. He was hands-on working with art department, deciding what colors he wanted on the wall, what color bedspread he wanted, what color tablecloth he wanted. That's how we were determined, mm. wanting to make this Popino and Gena film a success. And to me, it is indeed a success. And this is a South African film that we have to pride ourselves with because it is performed by South Africans, directed by a South African. I love um, the detail. Well, people say the devil is in the detail. Yeah. Now details it is, especially in the small minute details mm. th that you described to make sure that this entire story came alive. We're going to talk more about that, but also we want to take some questions and comments from our viewers. And of course, I want to engage you a little bit on uh, the hashtag open up the industry, an ongoing conversation where young people are saying there's not enough opportunity for us, where filmmakers are saying there's not enough money, where people in the arts are generally still struggling. So we're going to talk about that when we come back. You at home or wherever it is that you're watching from, do stay with us. We're going to continue our conversation and chat with uh, Clementine. We'll see money when